El Dorado Park in the south has been battling a mushrooming drug pandemic. This has sparked increased gang violence in the area despite regular anti-crime campaigns. SAPS have set up a bi-weekly operation in the area to counter these crimes. ENCA producer Lee McCabe compiled this report. It's called Operation Squinmark or Operation Cleanup and happens twice a week in El Dorado Park. The police's anti-gang unit combined with the members from the tactical response unit let rip on some of the known drug hot spots in the area. This heavy-handed approach has resulted in saps making weekly arrests of drug peddlers and the seizure of millions of rands worth of drugs and illegal firearms. Who we are dealing? No, I'm not dealing, Chief. Yes, we are selling for someone, Chief. You're selling for someone. Mm. Who's that someone? I told them already who's that someone. Who's that? Nigeria. So you'll help us to, to, to get that. Seriously? Did you ever smoke the, the mandrax? I smoked my life, Chief. How, how does it feel? I don't feel good, Chief. But you're selling to the other people to destroy the, the nation. Drugs are the root cause of crime and violence in the area. An activist, Deralyn James, has been very vocal about the effect it's having on this community. She's recently received a death threat. We are doing so much with the little we have. We are doing the most. I think people think, I'm sure that there are other communities that's worse off than El Dorado Park, that's worse off than Westbury. But the reason why South Africans aren't hearing about those communities, it's because they don't have people who actually stand up and voice the ills and break the silence of what is happening there. El Dorado Park, Westbury, uh, Mannenberg has been blessed with activists who are passionate. Whenever something goes wrong, they speak out about it. But the more you speak out about it, the more you get ostracized and then you get told you want to be seen or, or I'm not sure. But the evidence is on the ground for, for I'm not sure how much longer are we meant to be mopping up blood on our streets. Lee McCabe, Johannesburg.